what should be my home, I just want to get out of here as soon as I can. And <laughs> just really just get away from it all because it's just too much for me. <laughs> It was now that the family believed they needed outside help from the Living With The Dead team, specialist house cleanser Ian Lawman and medium Johnny Fiore. Ian has over 20 years' experience clearing ghosts from haunted properties. Before he gets to work, Johnny arrives. Coming from a long line of sensitives, she hopes to pick up on the particular spirits that might inhabit this house. Her plan is to walk through the rooms with the family members, gathering the story as she goes. Hello, family. Hello. Uh, how you doing? Okay. I'm the Waiting in the living room are Denise, Paul, daughter Donna, and sons Phil and Darren. Hi, Darren. I'm very pleased to meet you. Paul and Denise lead Johnny upstairs. She's not been told by the family the location of the spirit activity, but something immediately disturbs her. That room over there is... It makes me very uneasy. It's Donna's bedroom, the place where the whole family have felt overwhelming activity. It looks like such a pleasant room, but it just, this room makes me unsure. It's dizzying in this room. She gets nausea, she feels mm. sick, she gets headaches. There's so many people in this room with so much to say. And they've just, they're just attracted to her spirit. But I, I have to tell you honestly, I wouldn't sleep in this room by myself. She it's just too busy. She yes. covers her eyes, everything. She just can't. It sleep. won't do any good. It won't do any she good. She won't come to bed until we someone don't. else has come upstairs. She'll come myself. No way. She'll be tired out. She'll want to go to bed, but she'll wait and wait and wait. And then when I say I'm off to bed, right, I am as well. Johnny starts to feel it may be Donna the spirits are particularly attracted to and invites her upstairs with her brother Darren. To be honest with you, when I hold your hand, I just don't feel like I'm on steady ground. I just, I feel shaky. I feel this pressure on my head. I feel like someone's squeezing my head. It's like, you know what? Um, I wanna get you out of this room. I don't think it's healthy. Let's, let's get out of here. I just, I have a strong sensation that it's just, it's not really good for you to be in here, darling. Oh my goodness, something just went through me. I get the sensation of a man up here going back and forth. This man is just walking back and forth. First of all, I was in my room with a really strong headache and I didn't feel very well at all. And then, no money here, I just get in tears <laughs> for some weird reason. I don't know. Oh, this is heavy, Donna. It's house. heavy. Oh my God, did you just hear that? I heard that then. Okay. Is that something then? Yeah. As they cross the landing to his bedroom, Darren okay, starts to on. feel anxious. It's okay, it's okay. This room, uh, we always hear like footsteps on the, uh, the floor. It, it does feel like there's someone watching over you. It does feel a bit uneasy at the moment, <laughs> especially on that landing. You can feel the presence in here. What's the matter, Donna? Okay, come on, guys. Let me get you out of here. Johnny believes that Donna and Darren are somehow integral to the spirit activity in the house. She's now also certain the spirits are feeding off Donna's fear, and that is why it's got so out of hand. Spirits can feed on fear and negative emotions, and sometimes to such an extent 
that um, people have, be have become ill. I mean, we know that you're not supposed to show fear in front of, a, let's say, a vicious dog or something. It can pick it up in a way, in a subliminal way. And I'm sure that spirits, if they're acting anyway with our thoughts, act in this subliminal way. You don't realise that you're affecting them, that they're affecting you. And by the time you realise it, it's often too late. Their, their hold has become considerable. The family are now all feeling the strong sense of spirit activity. And when Johnny goes onto the landing with Phil and his girlfriend Diane, Phil sees something appear to move. Oh, sorry, Files. Oh, I could see something then right in front of you. OK, Probably. well, you can describe it to me. It's it fine. It was like right, right here. Mm -hmm. It was just something really fast. And then it, and it went. But I couldn't, there's no outline to it or anything. It was like, like my dad said, about like a static sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Just loads of little, little things really quickly in front of you. Uh, I feel really shaky as well. I, I really, um, I uh, think we should go downstairs, guys. Grab something. Johnny is now concerned for the safety of the family and leaves, feeling strongly that they need to take immediate action to deal with the problem. The following evening, Ian Lawman arrives. His task will be to clear the property of all the spirit activity and return this house to its owners. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Paul. Hi, Denise. Hello there. Hello. Hi. He explains to the family that first he needs to find the point in the house where the spirits might be entering. Um, before we go any further at this point, I would like to go have a look round, um, walk around upstairs and feel the rooms and, and see what we're dealing with really. Yeah. So if that's okay, if you don't that's mind fine. me going. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay. As he takes his first look around the house, the family watches his progress from the living room. Just like Johnny before him, he is drawn immediately to Donna's bedroom. Leaving Donna's room, he heads across the landing to Darren's. But something stops him. What the f was that? I just saw... I just had a shadow. 